Hey, everybody, don't click off. I just want to plug my dates real quick. It helps if you come out. I know you don't like it. Anyway, please, eadvideads.com. Buy tickets. Thanks. February 19th, Sunday, headline on the Hollywood Improv. And then Sunday, March 5th, I'm with Ari Shavir and friends at Wise Guys Utah. And then I'm coming up Rhode Island, D.C., Detroit, Spokane, Tacoma, ianfidance.com. Come out, hear a joke, have a smoke, and let's get to the show. I know you want to watch it. Wee! Telling jokes and having smokes, riding bikes all through the night. It's a wild ride when you're being in. Coffee ice, no matter what. Now you know he likes it in the butt. It's a wild ride when you're being in, being in. And life is shit, but you're positive. Let's find out what it's like to live a life being in. With Jordan. I like real big fish. I don't like ska. I don't mind it if I'm in a good mood. Yeah, but you're never <gasps> in a good mood. Uh, I'm in sometimes. <laughs> Are you in a good mood sometimes? It's a good question. Am I? You're smiling right now. No, this is a grimace. <laughs> this is a worried grimace. What are you worried about? You in a good mood ever? Typically. Really? Well, no, actually, I swing wildly. Yeah, me too. I get, I get, uh, I get trapped under the weight under of rice. my own self uh, criticism. Really? Constantly, yeah. It's a daily show. About your sweater choices. No, Fuck you, Jordan. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I thought we were hurting each other's feelings. No, oh, I no, we're hurting Ian's feelings. No, oh, sorry, sorry. No. I was thinking of that while I was evacuating my You bowels. always do this. Please don't. What? Please don't what? what were you thinking? Go ahead. Say. No, you tell me what you think I always do. That you don't like your feelings to be hurt. No. I was gonna say that I was thinking upstairs we should be nicer to each other. You guys Gay. should be nicer to me. I don't think, Gay. I think half the fun is being mean, especially when you have your old friend on who finally says things that I can't say. <laughs> if we have one of my old friends on, if you ever let me, <laughs> no. I would let you all. I would let you one of your old friends here the other day and you just made her work you in the background. You're Jewish. <laughs> wow. The truth comes out. Just Am I your... living in some sort of fantasy world where I think <laughs> yes. that I'm Let me always welcome, wanted, <laughs> and it, people like me around? And then I get down to the basement of truth and find out from you two fucking dickheads. Everyone 18. Everyone thinks you're a fucking queer. <laughs> That's not... I mean, do you not have a voice in your head constantly telling you that though? What? That you're a fucking gay and no one likes yes, you. Yes, all the okay, time. Okay, good. All the time. And yeah. I convince myself I'm not wanted. I yeah, shouldn't show up. But then when I show up, people go, where you been? We miss you. Oh, you're great. Have yeah. fun with you. And then I'm like, well, then I get down here with two of my closest confidants and you're shitting on me. And I what go, do we shit on him? What do oh, we say? That Ian. He wants to be Rasta? Yeah, Ian, Ian is racist because he's too immersed in ska. Oh, yeah. That was the That's argument. what your feelings are heard about? No. Yeah. Forget it. Forget it. This is another Ian's, Patreon. Ian's, Ian's spiraling because he said jive this turkey. This will be good because then people will listen to Patreon. Yeah. yeah. Everybody loves you. Hey, so You're brother. just easy to rip on because you take it and you talk about being gay, which is easy to make fun of. Mm -hmm. Everybody calls me a lesbian all the time. Yeah, but fucking... No, please. Okay. That never makes anyone feel better, by the way. Whenever I go too far with somebody and I brush up against their boundaries and they go, okay, man, you're being kind of a dickhead. I go, yeah, but everyone thinks I'm a fucking faggot. They go, doesn't matter. And yeah, go, doesn't help. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe I'll go home early. <clears throat> yeah. right, maybe right. I don't need to hang out late tonight at the bar. Maybe yeah. I'll head home early and eat some cereal. Yeah. yeah. I love cereal. Mm -hmm. I love when my friends are nice to me. We always are nice to you. Oh Everybody's God. nice to you. We're always nice to you. Oh Everybody is. God. I do have a list. <laughs> We're always nice Everybody's to you. Everybody's nice to you. The really black nice people are nice to you. The gay people are nice to you. Everybody's nice to you. Except my two friends. Well. Oh, my God, dude. What do you mean? What do you mean? What's he going to drill? My ass, I hope. You're a cutie, buddy. Do you? <gasps> stop, stop, dude. stop. Talking to Egon. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> 
What? You just sexually harassed <laughs> oh, shit, dude, a I, Thai boy. I, I, he's <laughs> a Thai <laughs> lady. <laughs> Have you ever had it? been with one of those? Uh-huh. Really? Uh-huh. I've been with it all. Oh, my God. How long? Here, cover the mic. <laughs> cover the mic. What uh, is this building made out of? <laughs> <laughs> what is he drilling through? That's crazy. Sounds like my computer's having an argument. <laughs> <laughs> is he breaking into a car? <laughs> <laughs> He's breaking into a what safe. Yeah, yeah, I thought this was internet, not him fucking. Not, not what's that? What was that show? Breakout. What was that? Remember that show? What was that show? Jailbreak. Jailbreak. I bombed. See now There's you no can make Shawshank fun of me. Now on you, that one. God damn it! God damn it! That was good. Woo! God damn Wowie. it! That prison break. Right. Me off a piece of that. Wow, that's illegal. That's man. illegal. And he's in a Come basement. On, and he's in a basement. He doesn't know. There's a power and dynamic I don't, You here. know what it is? I think his people... livelihood requires him to be in front yeah, yeah, of you. Yeah. And you're, you're basically Justin Roiland now. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. We're recasting you on being in. This isn't actually an open call, dude. We're doing four Can more Can I say it right in. now? I've never liked Rick and Morty. Very <gasps> cool, man. <laughs> oh, right? That was scary. <laughs> Wow, man. Shut up. Very no, brave. No, I don't Very like cartoons. Brave now. You know what? I didn't... The time for saying that has passed. <laughs> now you're just another fucking sheep. Damn it. Bad. Yeah, you should remember show... Call but... me a sheep again. Call me a sheep again. No. Say it. Don't do it. Say it. Don't do it. Say it. Don't do it. Say don't do it. Say call it. him something else. Say it. Call me a sheep. Call me call him gay. Call Such me a, a sheep. follower, dude. Call me a sheep. Like a sheep? Yeah, I thought the show was bad. <laughs> <laughs> You better start uh -oh. practicing saying that about Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I don't like that. Uh, no, I could never get into Rick and Morty. I don't get into cartoons I'm at all. I'm Morty. And I'm Rick. I just am like, you can make it. cartoons into anything. It's just Ren and Stimpy over and over again. Oh, that was a cartoon. That's, That's a great cartoon. That guy was also a pervert. What? What do you? What? 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 Reddit, what? 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 Your, your animation shows real promise. What if you came and stayed at my house for a couple no. weeks? And like, what? He did really? that? True story, yeah. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> what if you came and stayed at my house? And, oh, and so like, like I some you little more anime about girl would but be, be like, like yeah. yeah, but it's he's like, guess what? Welcome to being my girlfriend or something like that. Yeah. Maybe they want to Watch out for person. animators, man. Can't draw. I'm good. Yeah, same here. I couldn't draw to save my fucking life. Yep. Couldn't draw to get my way into a child's playground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm safe. <laughs> Man, yeah. Ren and Stimpy Should was a shit. If he wants to come on? Rocco Modern's Life was great. The best show ever. Doug. <laughs> Doug I'm sure amazing. those are all perverts as well. If you want to have a good time, look up the YouTube video of the the sound guy from Doug. He does all of the sounds, and he's the a foley lunatic. artist. And they're like, do birds, and he does a perfect bird. And they're like, do you know a balloon? And he does a perfect. Balloon. Go, they go through all these things, and he goes, do a weasel, and he goes. Meow, 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 meow. And you like it, you like see into the madness of oh, this man's yeah. mind. Th that's the skill set he developed to lure children away from their families in yeah. the park. It's really <laughs> weasels well, God, don't make that noise. Hey, you want to hear some noises? Honk, honk. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, funny. <laughs> you want to know what a car sounds like? <laughs> me, me. He kind of sounds like that. He teaches, he says how to do a dog. You want to know what a car sounds like? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Get my parents have one. Now this is a different car. They want to know what a cool car sounds like? Vroom, vroom. <laughs> hey, funny. You ever hung out in a Finnish basement? <laughs> <laughs> I oh. bet you couldn't even keep a secret from your parents, <laughs> funny. <laughs> hey, funny, I bet you're real good at wrestling. Who is funny? Oh, Doug, Doug, funny. Funny. Doug, Doug funny. funny. Doug funny. Doug funny. <laughs> and that was his bully's voice, Roger Clons. <laughs> yeah, man. So I was I was enthralled by the video. I would have been captured as a kid if you were like, you make a dog bark sound, but you have to have a 
thing in your mouth kind of shaped like a dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was practicing them. He was like, you make a dog bark. He said you have to do an inward breath. You have to go <laughs> instead of out. <laughs> but if he had been like, put a dick in your mouth, I would have been like, yeah, I'll find a dick. Yeah, basically, out. if you want it to sound like someone else is on the other end of a phone call, you put a ball gag in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hide out in my closet until your parents give up on looking yeah. for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I heard you need <laughs> more allowance, you old lady. <laughs> I will say when comics do sound effects on stage, I do immediately go pedophile. Who do you know that's doing sound effects? People do it all the time. You'd be surprised. Greer? Pay pay attention to it. Not Greer. What's Greer? Oh, well, he's doing voices. Sherrod? No. So what is it? Like people like, I called my mom the other day. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, Sagalo. (laughs) (laughs) Sagalo. He does so many noises that you're like, you're going to fuck now, the kids one Here's day. the thing. If I found out Sagalo was molesting children, I'd say even Stevens, those kids have a farting chance. Yeah, 100%. That's a level I, I think play he would field. bail on the sex. He'd be like, I don't even want to have sex. Can we just hang out? Can we just go to a show together? Sagalo molests kids to make them hear his raps. Yeah. <laughs> Come no, on. His rap- <laughs> Ian, I love his Ian, raps. I was Sagalo's just going raps, for the joke. Sagalo's I do- raps are cool, and he doesn't. Do the rap with I, he doesn't M either. kids. I like his raps. Does he rap in ser- earnestness? Mm-hmm. It's good. Where is it? Everywhere. You also YouTube. play. You also knew every word to. <laughs> this is Come great on. podcasting. I know. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> We're How under a time longer? constraint. <laughs> Who is Ethan? The fucking. Can you ask him? Dude, you? that's so fucking. Do funny. you speak Thai boy? <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask, what 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 language is it? I think that's actually a hammer. He's not talking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think he's speaking woodpecker. That's baritone woodpecker. It's fucking Morse code from being in the war. Um, excuse me, sir. How, uh, how much longer about? Do you think? Please don't. Speak. One, one minute. One minute. We can do a minute. You could have gotten through that without making it all. Thank yeah. God he doesn't speaking. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, boy. Oh, that's cool. You take your time. I was just wondering. We were just curious. Anyway, yeah. Sagalo's a good rapper. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Yeah, man. I like that. That was Me the too. hand of God. I, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what did we say about lying? <laughs> <laughs> Every you time you lie, one more penis bump. <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh, so you've been slinging it around town. <laughs> oh, contraire. That was a not. callback to our first episode. Yeah. Yeah. yeah when we unveiled that Ian had been molested, he does a thousand mile stare, and then he goes, so anyway, you're a whore. <laughs> to try yeah, yeah, and fucking... Yeah. Oh, Au contraire, I have not had sex, I have not hooked up, I am not talking around, a girl slid in my DMs, and I said, what's the point? Yeah. What, who, what'd she look like? Private profile. <laughs> yeah. You didn't follow back and check her out. Did I you? just saw my ex. That's good. That's a good it's boy. It's not. Man. I, I don't want to do it anymore. Look at, check this out. I don't want to do Let it me anymore. Hurt your feelings. What? What? What are you going to show me? The turning. She's getting hit on by better girls. Ex, a picture of my ex boyfriend's new girlfriend, and she is so hot. How do you describe the girls that like they would have this the flame nails, but they have the big fake lips? They have like like piercings. Hot, hot, hot. She's an influencer. Bimbos. The girl, no, a the girl bim. that you like. The girl that you like. Uh, let me what see. Is let me that? see. Let me see. Hot, hot. Yeah, hot. yeah. Then that's what I would yeah. describe it. Hot. Yeah. I don't Conventionally you. attractive. I don't no, I no, 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 no. 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 I mean, yes. Yeah. Poor. But like up. hot topic uh, type. Don't. Use that name in vain. No, she's saying like lip fillers and stuff. No, yeah, like, I mean hot topic, oh. but like new hot topic, lip fillers. Alt girls, alternative girls. Like cam hat, girls, like hot, cam, cat girls. Cat cam girls. She's a cam girl. Mm. Let's see it. I bet yeah. she looks ugly. No, I don't want to show you. <laughs> yeah. She is a gross pig. Boink, boink, boink. Yeah, by the way, new high of uh, teenage daughter, new hot topic is like, uh, like oh God. obese other kin. 
you know. <laughs> That's, that was old hot topic. Yeah, well, the tradition remains a lot okay. as well, dude. Are there other kin in your daughter's grade? What are other kin? Uh, what are other kin? What are she, other kin? She, other kin are, are like, like, I'm a like wolf. furries and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah are that's... there a lot of them? Yeah, well, no. She goes to an art high school. Wait, is Muh. that like a new woke word or other kin? No. Oh, no. no. It's, it's not like people identify as animals. No, it's like furries. Oh. Yeah, it's like furries. But, the, I, but there, why do we not say furries? It's just sure. another offshoot I'm of a I'm just wondering where it rebel. came from, where it derives from. I'm not mad. Uh, oh. it's, it's from people who got like way too into drawing Sonic the Hedgehog with gotcha, boobs online. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. And now they wear like foxtail butt plugs and shit. Little ears. Yeah. 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 So do they wear? There okay. are some, there are some of those. Yeah. God, my friend sent me a, she accidentally wet, stayed at a hotel that was a furry convention going on. And she just sent me a video that I think is the best video I've ever seen. And it's just a furry looking straight ahead, holding on to an escalator, <laughs> just slowly going on. <laughs> and it just killed me for some reason. I couldn't stop. Just regular. Just a I guy. think if you were dating a furry, that would be cool when it came time for Christmas and birthday and stuff because there's so many different things you could get them. With like a regular person that's not. Yeah, but their gift to you is going to be a soft entry into being a furry. Like, hey, I got you those ears that you said weren't that bad looking online. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Are you brinking on being a furry? I'd like to see this guy's ring. No. Come here. Let's are see. you now, how many, are there legit other kin in your daughter's I, grade? I, I believe so. I'd hate to, I'd hate to. Is she like, they deserve, or is she like, look at this nerd? Well, I think <clears throat> she was, she was ready. I think she wanted to be drafted into the, oh, the, the culture world. war. I think she was like, I've got all my paperwork. I'm ready to enlist. Mm-hmm. And then she got a look at them and it was like, Ugh. like, yeah, they're bullies now. Really? Yeah. The, they, thems are actually bullies now. How so? It's just, they dominate every, every second of interaction. Like you can't get through a class without someone being like, um, as someone who's actually suffered through this, it's, uh, no. I don't think that we should be talking about like, yeah. That's all they're fucking doing. Really? Yeah. And I thought that I thought that she might like be excited to like jump in on it and like, you know, see how many friends she can make. But she's like, I can't handle this, dude. She's like, she's referred to a, a group of kids who were like really nasty to people as the it's. <laughs> and dude, it's just been a blessing to me because this is just one hurdle that we no longer have to like yeah. get through. We this is a painful conversation we no longer have to have. How old is she? 15. Nice. So there's a bunch of she's 15, and this is the coolest shit that 15 year olds can do. And she got she got a, a front row look at it and she's just like uh-uh the no. coolest shit is to be woke and be like we the coolest won't. shit is to like be the most marginalized child of all time and act like your parents are abusing you when really if like they were presented with the shit that you say they'd be like what are you talking about wasn't our generation like that also what was ours yeah just but weed? our generation was that, they smoke that with like studded belts and cigarettes and shit they don't have studded belts no what do they, they have no pronouns. this it's <gasps> just another but form what do they of wear? rebellion well they're kind of going through a 90s phase right now they're wearing like baggy <laughs> jeans a little bit of androgyny a little bit of like bad haircuts and shit okay yeah it's Grunge? just it's god it's yeah. just a form of rebellion and fashion and whatever except I did that, with but the I was added to my yeah, yeah but this is with the added teeth of yeah. if you don't like it you don't agree with it you're a terrible right, person right. instead of like yeah. fuck you I'm different yeah imagine if your parents were like no more Jenkos and you were like you're a bigot yeah. no for me it was like mom can we go to can we go to the big mall for the, that has the hot topic and she'd be like yeah so as long as I can drop you off there for four and a half hours while you smoke cigarettes in the parking lot you know what I mean like yeah no and it was, so we were on the, the same yeah. shit that we did to annoy our parents is them doing stuff that like uh, them I mean, smoking weed with their friends downstairs here's, and here's, us popping in and like here's the thing food. here's the thing when our parents would be like yeah whatever dye your hair you'll grow out of it who cares yeah. now if they go yeah whatever wear a tail or be a they you'll grow out of it they're like no I won't and you're assaulting me by saying well, that and dude, yes or no I, bro I, I can't talk about this because my views I've realized are shit I've got shit views howdy how it's me Mr. Hanky just kidding, it's Ian. And guess what? It's displate time, bitch. Get your own artwork printed on a metal poster that only takes 20 seconds to install. Bazinga! Look how cool this is. We're going to install it, but I keep, like, showing it off. Um, click the link in our description to see some of my favorites and get your ready-to-hang piece of art. Save 27% off if you buy one or two or and get 34% off when you buy three or more. Make your whole wall displayed. Displayed it up. 
The discount will be automatically applied to your cart when you click the link. Use code SKA, S-K-A, S for so, K for cool, and A for awesome. So cool, awesome, Displate. Use promo code SKA when you visit Displate.com to get the discount. That's Displate.com, code SKA, or click the link in the show notes. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ian here, and I am so excited to let you know that today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Honey is a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. I have bought a lot and I've saved a lot with honey and I'm sick and tired of having to type in fashion Nova promo code October and nothing pops up or if it does it's an old link and guess what honey solves that problem so I can spend my time doing more things on the internet hmm. porn imagine shopping on your favorite site when you check out the honey button and it appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons <laughs> If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices dribbity dribbity drop. I love Honey and you will too. I never go shopping without it. Honey doesn't just work on desktops, dumbass. It works in your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari, on your phone, and save on the go. Does it work on Androids? Probably not. And it probably should because if you use an Android, you're poor and you need all the coupons you can get. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on deals. By getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting the podcast. No joke. Use Honey with promo code SKA because it helps us out. And you like the pod, you like us, and who doesn't like a discount? Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com com slash ska that's joinhoney.com slash ska now let's get a uh, back into the show really that's okay we and both the, okay so the the problem is that now instead of like dressing annoying and dyeing your hair and stuff now it's like i've got this you know idea that's very popular with people my age, I believe with my whole heart. Now there's like guidance counselors waiting in the shadows to be like, "Ooh, would you like to get on a, uh, a pipeline that leads to free reassignment surgery in a couple <gasps> of years?" Like, is that really? There's a serious I insidious. Thing wow, it's to almost it. like everything I've been saying is true, and everybody just asking. thought I was fucking uh -oh, uh -oh. Bill Maher. Yeah, well, I, I had no, I oh. had no, I had no real like input Sorry. on this. No, it I was, like it. It was kind of like a, I was an agnostic, like you know, let young people sort this shit out. But now that I've actually like the rubber meets the road. I'm like, whoa, there's like, kind of like a pretty weird subplot going on. Wait, where people, dude, my mother. So, all right. So, well, know, never, never, let, let them talk. Go, okay. go. No, no, Wait, I we'll interrupt with mine no, no, and then no. we'll go to you because see if you feel comfortable. I would rather focus on yours. My, no, you have to tell yours if I tell mine. Yeah, I want to hear what Tim has to say because he's boots on the ground. Yeah, I have not boots be, on the ground. Boots it's not going to be funny and ground. people aren't going to believe me. They're going to say Tim's just like a, Who cares? I'm a reactionist fucking dickhead. And it's like, I, it's, it's just, it's nothing. It's just bad stuff. That's all. Well, what, what, what were you going to say in relation to like scared? your kids? No, no, it's not. Is, just... our, is our guy scared right now? Ah, come on, man. You're on being new. No. Play, so, the free speech. So platform. there, there is like a, there's like a, a therapy. That feel good? There's a sector of therapy. That's like, <gasps> you're mad at me. <laughs> I want to hear what he has to say. Yeah. Okay. I give up. It's your turn. No, you have to <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not even going to be coherent. The, but there is a there is a sector of uh, like child therapy where like if this kind of stuff even like comes up a little bit for people who like and I've seen this I've been there for this for people who like don't go to the doctor because they are afraid they can't afford copays suddenly your child is in like a, a program where they have like therapists like actively involved. They have like doctors that are like prescribing like treatments and medications and hormones and shit. And you never, ever see a bill for any of it. Oh. And suddenly this becomes the only care that you're receiving that like you don't pay out of pocket for. And it seems like it's life Wait, or death. Hormone treatment has not hormone therapy and stuff like, like reassignment and all that has become like a human right. Pretty much. It's like emergency. It's, it's like emergency. Is it like Adderall for our generation? 
Ooh, maybe. Remember, remember when they're yeah. like, what? you want your kid to chill out? Yeah. You want your kid to focus? Has your kid ever meth? been annoying? What yeah. if we hook them on amphetamines for the rest of their yeah. life? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you not Are you not giving your kid adequate nutrition and sunlight Ooh, and they're acting up about it? How about some free Adderall? Is your attention char- starved child bothering people? Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah. Is, is, is your, it like that? Is your child so. experiencing puberty, which yeah. is hard to go through? Uh, well, yeah. here's what's uh, really yeah. going are on. Are cafeterias stuffing them with sugar? Sugar and Mountain Dew and yeah, having yeah, a yeah. vending Ooh, machine oh where they God. can buy okay. whatever they want. All right, now I'm glad I said something. I finally see feel you're like not crazy. I can no, to totally. People. We just had that too. But I think you, it was but when you different... say this out, first of all, no one our age has children at all. And then on top of that, I've got like older children. Like I have Bro. adolescent children now, yeah. teenage children. And so I have no one to talk to this stuff about. If I talk to my, like my dad about it, he's just like, what do you like? He gets yeah. spiralized. He has no idea what I'm talking about. And then you talk to people about. our age about it. I talk to people my age. The they don't have kids, and they go eh, like they're extremely yeah, or they go. Rhythm. You're being, you're making yeah. it up, or you're overreacting. Yeah, but it is. It here's what I thought. And like people our age either have no input on it, or they've been in college for 16 years, mm-hmm. and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. And, and they go, well, maybe the reason so many kids are coming out as trans is because it's finally accepted. Yeah. They can be who they are, and it's yeah. like, well, I just thought maybe it wasn't happening. Yeah. Yeah. that much I, that's not what i thought i thought that people weren't that there w- wasn't that big of a i didn't it's think like 85 percent of teenagers are trans now or something like that it's, it's fucking crazy yeah. <laughs> and it but it yeah. is followed up like how like how old first, do you have to be to so get the, hormones? Here's, here's what i've noticed because not in the very recent past we lived in the hood my kids went to school in the hood and now as we're climbing the like socioeconomic ladder the more comfortable a teenager is financially the more trans they are the, the more devoid of like actual problems their life is, the more marginalized the identity Which that they present is. Which used to be the opposite. Is. Yeah, you used to, be yeah. much used to have real problems. Well, it also used to be like the kids who were really fucked up at home would be like being trans. Yeah, and now the kids who are comfortable like see those kids being like lauded with attention and like kind of like praise and like, yeah. you know, oh, you're so brave. Now they're like, mm, I want to be brave. There was huh? something yeah. about, I, like, the few trans kids that I knew were kids who were, like, had 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 to go through so much, like, therapy and self-understanding that they were like, I think this is actually something I know about myself after so much analysis. And now it's just, like, that's the first thing you hit. You well, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it used to be where you would have to go through years of therapy and living with a prosthetic outside <laughs> of your normal life as a means of like, are you sure you want to take this next step? But now what what's is happening now? is yeah, now, it's now like, what's if you don't, is, if you don't have reassignment surgery for your six year old, I think we're going to call CPS and have them take a, away. A, ch- a child, take a child can go to a guidance counselor and say, I feel as if I'm this. And the guidance counselor will fast track them go, to seeing God. a nurse practitioner. They won't even have to see a doctor and they can get, uh, hormones, they can get estrogen, they can get testosterone, they can get, How they young? can start becoming, uh, they can start taking drugs and they say, and back me up if this is true or not, but if you tell your parents, don't tell your parents because if they find out they may not like it, which is gatekeeping and is a means of keeping you from your true authentic self. Yes, yes or no? I think, I think if it's not already like this, they want to make it so that your parents never have to be notified. Oh, and if the parents like a, like, a, like, like birth age, control though? or something, like, I don't even. Oh, like birth well, control. here's the thing. Here's my thing. You likened it to Adderall and ADHD. Like, oh, your kids hyper. Shh, get them hooked on man- amphetamines for the rest of their life. My feeling is that this is a lot like opiates, to where it's putting a band aid over a bullet wound instead of dealing with like long term pain therapeutic it care. It doesn't matter what age we're talking about. You're. Though. You, they're they're giving medication to people as a means of putting a Band-Aid over a traumatic bullet wound that needs... Like, if you truly feel you are someone else, you're living in the wrong body, you're, that's totally valid. That needs to be understood. Yeah, but also, it needs let's to be have examined. that conversation after that initial painful hurdle of puberty, which is a universal yeah, experience. Which for sure. I wanted to be a boy for sure. so bad. I, for sure. The boys were cool. The but girls at the same time, if, if... Yeah, what, totally. Yeah. I wanted to be what a mermaid. I, what I think is more insidious That's than stupid. the that is, ADHD uh, Adderall thing is that now they're giving them medications to where if you don't take this every day for the rest of your life, you are no longer affirmed and you're no longer living in the way you see yourself. So if I'm... You're hooked on... Big Pharma for the rest of your life. Yeah. You just have to recognize that the way that they're seeing it is like when somebody is when somebody is put into the planet, 
It is their human right to decide what gender they are and how they want to be identified as. And to take that away from somebody is to like, uh, is to oppress them. So it's hard for us to see things like that, but that is how they're seeing it. They're seeing it like if my, pa- they're seeing it like gay. They're like, if your parent doesn't allow you to identify as gay, that's a bad thing. This is like, if your parent doesn't allow you to identify as the opposite gender, that's not okay. But yeah, the problem is, the amount of the, I mean, the problem, the problem is the accessibility. That's what I think it is. It is like the, I think everybody would be okay with everything. My my thing is accessibility. It's like, it's for enforced. It's like taking your car to the car wash and then just watching it go through. It's It's like like when your therapist, when your kid is like, do you, is your mom, is your mom mean to you? Is your mom bad? One of my moms went into the doctor and they were like, you have high tea. Um, She's like, she's like a CrossFit junkie, incredibly buff. And they were like, I think she came in with something so like she was like, yeah, I've been like a little depressed or something like that. And they were like, well, it's because you're trans. This is a 40 year old woman. And they were like, and and she was like, I am not trans. I am a woman. I am a lesbian. I am happy to be a woman. And they were like, you're trans. So this is happening oh, to like man. grown ass. Ugh. Yeah. Crazy. And again, it's a way for people to be dependent on medication for their yeah. entire life. Because if they don't take that medicine, they will not be seen physically as they feel they are mentally and emotionally as that other thing. It just and feels like there should be a little separation of church and state on this one. Well, yeah, but well, at the no, same man. time, your parents are racist bigots. They're like, their parents are evil. Yeah. Like everything that they think is backwards. You know what I mean? Like go out, rock the vote, vote for Hillary, that kind of shit. Like, dude, it's, it's Do you so feel that when your kids, up. friends come over that they're a little bit like you're a dad, that means you're bad. Well, luckily for me, my, my, my daughter's pretty, she got her head screwed on. Right. And, and that's like, a she testament tries- to you and MJ. Oh, the, the, dude, MJ's the best mom in the world. But yeah, and you're a great dad. She tries to, so she tries to like have a distinct like uh, like identity and like thought process from me, and I I recognize that, and I can't be like, no, this, that stuff's stupid. I have to let her run the logical course on something, mm-hmm. and then go face first into a brick wall intellectually and then watch her deal with like the painful regret of like, Oh dude, I sound like a fucking idiot on that stuff. And I have to watch her do that over and over and over again. So then mm-hmm. she becomes like a complete whole human. Has yeah. she run into the brick wall? A bunch? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. And I watch and I go, I could have told her to avoid that, but then she would have missed out on an important lesson. Yeah. That's so hard to do. I can't imagine. Cause you know, what's going to happen. You just got to let it. Yeah. It's, it's like, yeah. God, that must be so hard to and deal then, with. And then my career is going like this into computers and acting like I don't give a fuck about anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It fucking sucks, dude. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine though, like it's uh, my, if look, I'm not a parent, whatever, but if my kid was like, I'm this on that, I'm like, cool, wear your hair, do the thing, have fun. But if someone doesn't like it, that's not a reflection of a hatred towards you. That's not a reflection of like a badder thing. And badder. I, more bad. Sorry. More bad. Sorry. Better? More Better. Bad. Worse. Why am I trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about when I just I said bad? Watch out, dude. You're at risk of becoming a brainiac. Don't become a brainiac. No, I just, yeah, I, yeah, just yeah. Think, I just think it's such a balancing act between like, yeah, let a kid be whatever they want, but don't fast track it to dude. medications. Dude, or we should have somebody on the pod eerie. who disagrees with us. Mm-hmm. Who yeah. would disagree? Who would well, disagree? So- uh, we should, we well, yeah, I mean, basically, I mean, there's a big, there's a big chance a lot of people hearing this would be like, this is like, yeah, but, for, this is a fucking backwards caveman, but it's like, but I, promise I, you, I also I'm feel that it's pretty You're obvious. in the trenches. I'm in the fucking You're trenches. You're in the trenches. Dude. And I feel like I've been involved in that community yeah. in a different way I went for through a very the non-binary phase. It fucking sucked being a female comic and identifying with all the male comics. Yeah, and I you would kind of want to be non-binary. I really, I had a fucking full meltdown about it. I was like, I hate this. I hate that I'm the female comic on the show. Everybody's like, she's the best female comic or she's the, I was like, I don't like that. I don't identify with any older women mm-hmm. besides like maybe Patty Smith. I was like, I don't understand. I hate, I was like, be, be, and then I realized that it was just like a very deep latent misogyny happening. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it was just like a men have more fun. They are more free. Women are fucking stupid and bound to all these things. And it was very, it, I've totally had the sensation of like, I would love to walk up to somebody and be like, I'm Jordan and have them be like, I'm, I don't know really what you are fully. You know what I mean? Yeah, Just sure. because it meant that I was a blank slate. You get to slate. avoid some pretty negative like, yeah. perceptions. Or right. Or like, even like you, you, just the sensation of feeling those perceptions, even if you're like imagine, like I'm sure, and then you'd start to like imagine them when they're not there. Even, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like I walk into your podcast studio, this didn't happen, but I walk in and you're, and, and I feel everybody go, oh, great, Ian. Oh, fuck. He brought a girl. 
And that's me. I'm doing that. Yeah. If somebody brings it, I'm being like, oh, fuck, you brought a bitch to the poker game, dude. What do we talk about? You know what I mean? Oh, and that's that is my shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, how we I were was, thinking it. Go ahead. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of people are thinking it. But I had, I talked to people and they're like, you don't, that in no way, shape, or form is it, does my perception of you walking into a room being like, here comes the man ma woman, manipulator. Right. But yeah. But it, I do think, it's obvious that we're not speaking with condemnation. We're not being like, this needs to I am. I kind of wish this stuff wasn't happening. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I, I feel like our, our it would be a little bit easier for my life if this stuff wasn't going down. Our points of view are coming down. from a place of love, though. It's not, there's no, like, hatred or anything. Yeah. I, I feel. I call, I, I like to think I have a compassionate heart, but I'm mostly just confused and upset all the time. Really? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. dude, I'm, like, never sure of my decisions or choice or actions. I just. Yeah, but I, who is? I'm constantly just looking around. Just like, have I ruined my life and the people around me forever? It sounds mm -hmm. like you're doing pretty good, though. No, yeah. well, I do think that that's just a. Once you start, as, as long as you're questioning it along the way, I think that you're you've but got good like kind kid, of a level good of wife. Yeah, I mean, smart enough kid to not go towards that we and then to turn their back on their own family. I may be the luckiest man in the world. That's all. Totally. This, I've got none of this is by design. I walked backwards through all of this. This is nuts. I don't know, man. You've been down anyway, for a while. To get back when, to your all your friends were, when all your friends were plowing pussy, yeah, you were, you were just a with family one guy, dude. That's, dude. Crazy. That's a yeah. testament to you, not yeah. just some luck. Yeah, me and my wife were just like complete social misfits. Nothing really made sense to either of us. Because you were uh, trans. <laughs> yeah, I was trans. <laughs> oh my God, I've been trans this whole time. <laughs> oh. M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called oh, low it's a trans. Yes. Who <laughs> <laughs> brought the woman? <laughs> I'm not. She's a got a ding dong. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. If someone does turn out to be trans, let me suck them. Anyway, what do you want to plug? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. What a Guidance counselors. Really pushing for it. Interesting. My guidance counselors, man, until I went to social work college for, I went for a semester. That's what it's called. For, yeah. For, um. I went to social school, work college. I didn't realize how many social workers were in my life growing up. Like I went for a semester and then all of a sudden I was like, oh shit. All of those people who were like, hey, you are, uh, you got some uh, bruises on you. Hey, you've been uh, scribbling. Yeah. Dark, you have a box of you dead flies that says good listeners on it. Are you? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that wasn't just a woman walking around my school. That was a helper. And if that woman came in with my short ass hair and my fucking, I, I was trying to look like a boy so much. And it'd been like, do you think you'd be happier as a boy? I would have been like, hell yeah. yeah I would be happier is, as a fun. fucking couch. <laughs> yeah, come on, bring him in. We yeah. got two more for the tit jar. Come on. Totally. You have mm. to. Yeah. That was, that was fun. You have, to, jar, you, right? have to con, you have to come before you can transition. What? <laughs> you gotta come. You gotta come. You gotta feel what it feels like to come. I don't that know. It's so hard movie. being a fucking human, and it never stops. Like, I'm, I'm, I can't imagine what it would be like going through puberty and the anxiety that now with the availability of seeing everyone else all the time on social media. At least, like, when we were younger, we could, like, go to our room and you plug the lie world about out. You could, you could invent a human being and say, this person goes to another school and it's my girlfriend and she has awesome boobs. Yeah. And people would just be like, I can't fucking disprove this. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's like, you know, you know each other so intimately because you're compelled to share the most... Like yeah. minute details of your life that like, it's, uh, it's almost like, it's definitely a, 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 a fake intimacy that's just born out of oversharing. Yeah. And, uh, it horrifies me every day. <laughs> wow. Yes. You just described podcasting. <laughs> yeah, I know. It is probably yeah. scary for We're these kids too. Hell. That kid who came down that was babysitting Racine's kid who was ticking. Like if they, if these kids are like getting the, if somebody came up to me as a little kid and they're like, you know how you have these intrusive thoughts about wanting to kill yourself? What if you had the intrusive thought about going like that? And then all over the internet, a million children were doing that. I would start, it probably Ooh. is. I mean, these kids are probably seriously suffering under the hand of option. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Just and now so imagine many. being locked up for two years, not going to school and fucking everything that was available to them during that. I yeah. just think that there is a- We I, have failed a generation. Well, I, mean, I think there's a moral yeah. obligation to, to restrict social media. 
That's yeah, what I think. Absolutely. Yeah. I think there totally. should be it should be illegal to let your kid not, on. Not only yeah, because what's of that like, like? Oh, having kids and sort like I have to I have to use my fucking iPhone to set limits on what my kids can see oh, good, and how good. much time they can spend on their devices because it's like beyond just like the social pressures of what's going on with like the the youth right now. Beyond that, the real like there's a puppet being like manipulated on a stage and then the the person holding the marionette strings is actually a puppet that's being controlled by yeah. like chinese right. software developers yeah so i like they don't listen that to guy. you kids, <laughs> One of them kids get dude it's hard enough to tell a 12 year old to brush their teeth and then you're like dude all the stuff that you see on computer screens is just chinese software developers trying to like first they want to predict your actions so that they can eventually sort of control them they want to yeah. finesse you they want to slow foot your your actions man isn't it crazy you, uh, we just had vhs's with some 41 music videos and that was Dude. our parents were like you can't watch this 900 times okay that that was our like so media manipulation was just fucking the calling the box yeah. so that your favorite yeah. video would play over, and over. yeah I do. what about how do you how as a parent do you make your kid not want to be a YouTube influencer? Because how do you make them do homework and Remember study? Eighth grade? Well, it was, okay, this grade? was a little bit easier because we were we were absolutely destitute. Because they saw you and they were like, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, no way, dude. No, no, no. Become my, a podcaster. Dude, my son Ben's twelve years old. He thinks we're all the coolest people in the entire world. Is that world. real? He Aww. thinks we fucking rule. That's Hi, great. Ben. And it's, I mean, my, yeah, he's definitely watching this against my that wishes. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? Please brush your That's teeth. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it rules. But at the same time, I do have to remind him, like, I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know what's going on. I've been a loser more than I've ever had a good time. You know what I mean? But. Mm -hmm. what? <laughs> Your son is fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a big moron. I might be, don't I might be too honest. Why do you have to remind think, him of I that? You just go into his room and say, and good night. I, I have crippled because depression. <laughs> and pain. The cooler he thinks that, like, me and all my boys are, the more of an idealized version of me he has in his head. And I have to be like, no, dude, even me, I'm a fucking moron. Let uh, him think your idea is Absolutely it's fine. not. Yeah, Why? but then no. he's going to start wanting to, like, be a. Uh, YouTube or like podcast, right? Well, I mean, he he definitely has like a a, a creative. Uh, he needs something. He needs to share his his vision. Yeah, and I to I totally get behind him. I I help him. Like I, he learned how to do stop motion <laughs> on his own. Anyway, I love the idea of you just like your kid being like, "You're great," and you're like, "I fucking suck." Dude. <laughs> Listen to me. This is great. You Repeat after idiot. me. <laughs> uh, my dad fucking yeah. sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm gonna be honest. I just read you a bedtime story. I barely got through it. <laughs> so funny. That I don't Thought it was green eggs and ham. <laughs> like <laughs> not okay. even uh, like a booker is like you should do the show and dude. we're like we we don't deserve this. And your own child is like you're doing a good job and you're like no dude you don't even know the head. You of should it. Have, I, I found a new dad for you. Yeah, <laughs> it never goes away. It never goes On away. Paper, listen to this. I'm completely uneducated. I have no job and I struggle socially. Like you you can do way you better. You don't struggle than this. socially. Yeah, you have so many yeah. friends. You love your uh, wife no, and your kid is the best. I and you're great. That. Thank you. You no, must, and none of us you have money. Great. But that's the thing. So, all right. So, to get back to your question, to dissuade them from like <laughs> wanting to be like a YouTuber and stuff. <laughs> that was a shotgun cough in the face. <laughs> I just felt like. Oh my god! If, if you did that into his <laughs> ear, the side of it, the other side of his head would have blown out. The fuck, man! It, it, it so was my, from your smoke. My, so my, I felt yeah. like I felt you like, owed me one. <laughs> it was from your smoke, so I felt like you should. She was it. returning the serve. That's all it was. <laughs> okay, wow. My, my response would be like she, she, like my daughter would say something like, "Dad, did you hear that?" Like she would, res she would get like a small kernel of like YouTuber news, like someone else has been outed as racist, and I would say. My honey, my darling, the my apple Jew. of my eye. Sorry. We don't have enough money to care about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm telling yeah. you that we're so poor that we're not. E we shouldn't even know Charlie D'Amelio's name. Yeah. Do you understand, me, sweetie? <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yes. Focus on your air sandwich. My biggest sandwich concern is I'm going to work myself to death before I work up the courage to kill myself. Please. Please don't care about this stuff. You're going to have a lot to care about pretty soon here when you find my body swinging from the rafters. So that's pretty much, that's yeah, how, that's that's how we avoided anyway, that way. So yeah. <laughs> Wow, so different than DeStefano, who was on yesterday with his child problems. Is this child trans? Huh? Is no, child he trans? just is perfectly secure in his... Uh, oh, he's so no. rich. 
I don't I don't know. He's got a lot of money. Yeah, actually, the more money I make, the more. He's like, I live in a big house now. It's crazy. And you're like, we're going to die. Yeah. Dude, I I mean, you know, one thing that I dude, we I, our next door neighbor got shot on Christmas Eve. Like we were what? living in hell. Oh, in Kensington. Yeah, my yeah, like, kids yeah, were yeah. watching people on heroin fall asleep, standing up at red lights, and I had to be like, well, "I'm gonna work us out of this. I promise. All we have to do is not care about YouTubers, guys." <laughs> and we got out of it. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're improved already. God. We're doing better. But you know, at I least have... if they transition, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, right, I, I need to you to transition yeah, just so we it. can get some sort of health care. <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a fucking, maybe a dentist will give you the time of day if you get your fucking pussy turned inside out. <laughs> maybe you have to rip out your molars with a yeah. leatherman. Yeah. I, fucking... I think I have a cavity. Ben, yeah. get the knife in your penis. We're yeah. behind on the Invisalign payments. Please start taking a hormone blocker. <laughs> Uh, 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 we have to get you a tetanus shot. Have you seen how hard men have it out society? Uh, okay, fuck. do your plugs. We gotta go. Yeah, yeah me, Stoner Dads, live Stoner Dads at Magoobies, Timonium, Maryland, 420. Oh, See you guys there. Yeah, that'll yes. be a good time. And then uh, live great dad club, meet. Great club, great pot. I can't wait to do it. And then live dad meet, laugh it up Poughkeepsie on April 28th, the following week. Oh, that rules. See you guys there. Twitch.tv slash Oh, Thank we just found me. out. Whip. <laughs> I just have your smoke in my lungs. We're. You're lucky that's all you got down there. <laughs> we just found out we're doing a live. Uh, <laughs> B&E &E with Jordan of Philly Helium in April. Are we really? Yes. It's fucked in? Yes. Did you just have that conversation yesterday and now you're locking it in? I'll I'll see no, you guys locked there. In, but I forget Yay. the date. Yes. Come. Absolutely. You cross over. Everybody, I'll see you guys there. Cross over? At, cross at whatever over? you want. Yeah! yeah! Thank you. Love you. Bye-bye. guys. Hold on. Hold on. Don't turn the cameras off. Hold on. Okay, turn the cameras off.